Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, for today's video, I'm gonna do the November favorites and it will be a little bit of beauty and also a little bit of fashion. So if you guys, if you guys are interesting, let's keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like it and just click a thumbs up if you uh, like this video and if you have any questions, just um, write me down below. Uh, everything I will mention now in this video, I will link it down below. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, the first is, I will start with beauty first and then with the, we will finish with fashion, okay? First uh, beauty product I want to talk to you guys about is the uh, Caudalier Beauty Elixir. It looks like this. Uh, this one is actually a, a facial mist and I have been using it um, a lot like a, a preset for the makeup and also as a setting spray. Um, I have to be honest, this Beauty Elixir was my favorite two years ago. I will always buy it when it was finished. I think. I have been using more than a ton bottles of this. I have been loving it so much. And not just for before and after the makeup, but also just in my skincare routine. I have been using it in the night, for example, before I put um, the serum on and then the moisturizing on. I always been spraying this one first and then actually put the other um, products on my, on my skin. Um, I love it a lot. Uh, it's for every skin types and it's very fresh and you know because it calls beauty elixir i think um, you really feel like your your skin it's more more um how you will say like more smooth and more glowy so i think this is a actually really beautiful product um you can use it exactly as i said as a skincare product or also as a setting spray um as a setting spray it also works really good your your um your makeup will stay the whole day so i do recommend this and this one the caudalier paris is um a product from france exactly and i think the people who owns caudalier was actually um a winery it was a winery a family uh winery and then decided also not just to sell wine but also to um spend with the skincare um, product. So I've been using a lot of Caudalie products uh, for skincare and I think they're really amazing. So like guys check it out because it's so good. The second product is also skincare product and this one uh, you guys already saw in my uh, a review that I did on it and this one is the Summer Friday um, Jet Lag Mask. As you guys see, I have been using it a ton, uh, but this is because it's so good. Uh, in my review, I will link it down below. You already saw that I really loved it, but this was, was just a first impressions product. And after that, I have been using it like every uh, week, like two, three times a week. And I really see um, that my skin really craves uh, all the moisturizer it can get. Um, so with this one, you already see that your skin, it's more plump. Um, your wrinkles that you have on your skin, okay, I don't have a lot, but I do have them. Um, they will, like, they will vanish a little bit because you see that the, the, the skincare, the, the, the skin really want to absorb all the moisture that it can. So this one is so beautiful. I have been using it. I haven't been using it as a product primer just as a, a sleeping mask and also the type of mask that you uh, leave on for 10 minutes and then you ring, uh, you take it away with warm water. Um, this one jet lag mask is from the beauty uh, guru, the um, Marianne Hewitt. She's a beautiful, beautiful YouTuber and blog influencer and this is her product. Um, and to be honest, I really want to try the other one also. The other one I think was an overnight mask. Um, and I think it was a little bit more um, to um, a little bit like a scrub for the skin. Um, so I want to try that one as well. If you guys want to see a first impression on that also, uh, just comment it down below. I can buy it and do it for you guys. Uh, but yeah, this one is beautiful. This you already should, you really should check it this out. And it's very Instagram-y like because of the beautiful packaging and the color. It looks like this. Now we go into uh, the makeup section. <laughs> so the first product from uh, my makeup favorites is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. 
looks like this. I have two shades with me. The first one is Graham Cracker 16G and the other one is Cookie Dough uh, 14N. So I have two of them and it's very um, matte. I have been using it a lot. I do have my Tarte, um, Tarte Shape Concealer but uh, this, this month I have been just using the Overachiever Concealer is actually what I have right now under my eyes and I think it's so beautiful. I do love both of them. I think the Tarte is, of course it's matte, it's coverage, has a lot of coverage but it's a little bit more on the glowy side and the Huda Beauty is more like of a matte finish and cover really really good. So um, I do love it. The only thing is it looks like this inside, it has like this one and to be honest it's a little bit annoying that you have to put the product like this. I do appreciate like the sharp tip, conce uh, sharp tip concealer that you have like a, uh, as a lip gloss, you know, that you can just put it down like this. It's easier to, um, to work with. Um, this one is a little bit more difficult to um, put the product on, on, on the skin uh, but other than that the product itself is amazing um, and the, the color also the, 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 the color that I have the colors that they have are also really good so you do find your shade so yeah do love it a lot next makeup product is a lip liner uh, they have been using a lot and this one is the Kylie Cosmetic Candy K color, yeah, Candy K lip liner Ooh, and as you guys see I have been using it a lot, it's very small right now and it's also broke so I do have to purchase another one and it's like a warm pinky nude, it looks like this and it's the perfect perfect pink nude and especially also for um, for autumn, for fall and winter, it's beautiful color. Um, I use it, first of all, I just use this one and then I put whatever um, lip gloss or liquid lipstick I own and it always looks good. And this one I feel like it's very like um, soft and very like smooth on the skin. Um, it's not so drying and it's so beautiful. I do need to buy the Candy K liquid lipstick because this one I used a ton and I don't have it anymore. Um, so I have to repurchase it because of all the lipstick that I own, I do love my Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I feel like the Candy K, it's the perfect, perfect color for just my skin tone. Um, so I do have to repurchase the lip kit because then I can repurchase this one and the liquid lipstick. So yeah, do love it a lot. Candy K, it's beautiful. Next, I have a really beautiful highlight. <laughs> when I was in Bern, um, to the, I had to go to the Swedish embassy was like, I think it was three weeks ago. And uh, I was like walking around. Uh, I'm not, ex I was not expecting to buy anything. And then I went to, um, it's like a, a skincare, no, not a skincare, it's like a beauty, um, it's like Sephora, but it calls Marionaut. And this is what we have here in Switzerland. We do have Douglas or Douglas, I don't know how you say that. Uh, and then we have Marionaut. And I was not expecting to buy anything. And then I just walked by and I saw that they had Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I was shocked. I just saw the color and I stopped because you know with the pink color of the packaging you see it immediately. So I was like, huh, what is that? So then I stopped, I went down and I saw they had a lot of uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So if you guys are from Switzerland, just check out Mario now because I think in, in your local store they should own, they should wear, they should have Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Uh, so I went a little bit crazy. Um, I do have, uh, I bought the mannequin, the liquid lipstick, um, I loved it, but my absolutely favorite that I have to mention here, my November favorite is the Jeffree Star Cosmetic The Skin Frost and the color is Peach Goddess, you guys, it's beautiful like I you know my favorite as you guys know in August and the August favorite was my Amrezi highlight from Anastasia Barrett Hills and it still is one of my absolutely favorites uh, and this one that one is more like a gold champagne color and this one is so totally different and that's why I love it so much first of all you can see the packaging how huge it is it's pink so it's amazing 
and look how big it is now let me open it I don't want to blind you guys because you have a huge mirror but this is the color peach goddess and it's like yeah exactly how it says it's a peach kind of color and it's exactly what I'm wearing right now it's so beautiful right it's incredible let me swatch it for you sorry now you're blind again it's the payoff on this color i don't know if you can see it it's unbelievable it's kind of exactly like a peach rose and gold kind of highlight it's so creamy so pigmented and it's just look flawless on the skin and yeah after the highlight of Alexis Bernice now the whole month of November I have been using this one and I'm so pleased I did it's so beautiful I actually want to go back there and buy every single color of it um, yes yeah, so if you guys are from Switzerland check it out because it's unbelievable they have lip liners liquid lipsticks highlighters uh, they have eyeshadow palettes they have the blood shark sugar palette they had uh, not the alien palette that already came but they have the old ones so check it out because it's unbelievable I was shocked like Switzerland doesn't have nothing in the store you never find nothing and suddenly they have Jeffree Star cosmetics it's so beautiful next um, it's like this. I have not been doing my uh, eyelash extensions because I did want to have a, a pause. Uh, it's not that good to just have an uh, eyelash extension for a very long time because um, your own eyelash will destroy eventually. And I have been doing eyelash extension for the past oh, two years, I think, non-stop, like every single month. So I wanted to have a pause, but I do not have a lot of eyelashes left after the extension so I have been using um, like faux lashes and for me it's so difficult because I don't think I have really big eyes and I didn't know which lashes look better on me the one I've been wearing right now is the Lily Galici uh, Lily lashes uh, is what this one is the Miami style I'll show you how it looks this one are the Lily lashes in Miami I love them they are beautiful and then this one is they're not for every day I mean a lot of people can have it every day but not for me like I work in the hospital you cannot really go out with really big eyelashes it's a little bit too much um, but this one are my eyelashes for filming my eyelashes to go out to dinner or events uh, these are perfect but when you want to wear other um, lashes, full lashes for work or for daily, I have been using the Ardell. These ones are the Faux Mink Wispies. Uh, yeah, exactly, Faux Mink Wispies. They are also a little bit dramatic, but they are really beautiful. I do love the Ardell the Wispies and also the Ardell Demi Wispies. They are so beautiful. They are my go-to, the Wispies Ardell and the Demi Wispies. This one you can also wear daily, to be honest. Uh, so Lily, Lily Lashes Miami for special occasion, and I also purchased a new one that I, I can't wait to try. And this one are the Mykonos Lashes. A lot of people love the Miami Lashes and the Mykonos, from, uh, Mykonos Lashes from Lily. And this one is a Mykonos Lash Kit Limited Edition, and it comes with the Lily Lashes um, glue as well. So I really want to try this. The lash glue that I've been using now is the Duo from Adele, the black one, the black version, but I, I'm not really a huge fan of it. I do love when you can um, paint it on and not as a tube, because on the tube I feel like it goes everywhere. This one is more prep like it's more um, in, on the precision side that's why I wanted to try this one uh, so I'm really excited to try the Mykonos lash kit because I do love the Miami ones so yeah I think I, I've been using full lashes daily and you don't really you know it looks so beautiful looks so put together and to be honest the Ardell Wispies are so easy to put on like so easy Lily Lash it takes a little bit more time because they're so huge you know they have so much volume in it but the Ardell are so easy like in two minutes you just put it in not even like two seconds you put it in and then that's it that you can go so I do recommend this so check them out and for, go for those who don't know the 
the uh, Lily Lashes. Of course, you can purchase on their website, um, thelilylashes.com. But for the one from Switzerland, if you don't want to pay extra taxes and stuff, you can purchase the, the lashes from Lily um, on the Monolith side, Monolith shop. Uh, it's a beautiful store here in Switzerland, like a, a website where you can order Lily Lashes, For Sally, um, Liquid Gold um, Primer. You can also buy, what else you can buy? Ah, Huda Beauty products, um, uh, Loving Tan. They have a lot of beautiful products. Check it out. I will link it down below the website. I'm not sponsored at all. I'm just being honest with you guys. If you don't want to pay taxes, Monolith Shop is amazing. And there is where I bought my Lily Lashes, so I'm so happy. And the, it, the, the shipping is beautiful, it takes like two days and it's already home. So yeah, it's so good. Well, oh, I have been talking a lot, right? Oh my God, I have to be a little bit more fast. Uh, next product, <laughs> next product is uh, oil for my hairs. This one is the Jizu Honey Infused Hair Oil from, oh, I'm thinking I'm saying her name incorrect, I'm so sorry. Nejin Mirsaheli. I'm not sure I say it right, right, but this, she's a beautiful blog influencer from Amsterdam uh, and she has her own hair products line and this one was the first product she introduced and it's a honey infused hair oil, Jizu, and it was very difficult to find. I so they sell it on Revolve, they also sell it on their brand website, Jizu. But because I live in Switzerland, you do pay a lot of shipping for it. So I said, no, I don't do that, I'm sorry. Um, so I saw that they sell it in uh, Paris, Angelina, I think it calls, it's like a, um, uh, like a bakery place where they do amazing clay, like all the good stuff, um, the, the, the specialty from, from France. Uh, and they also sell this and then they also sell it in Italy in Milan at the Tea of Rose boutique and this is where I bought it I was in Milan to visit my mom and then I went to the store and I bought it I'm so happy I did this is the 100 milliliters hair oil I have been using it like the whole month and as you guys know you see it's still full it's still full you don't need a lot it costs a lot I think it costs 90 euros but a little bit goes a long way. I just put five drops of this on my hairs and then I'm ready to go. And I feel like this oil makes your hair so smooth and also um, I feel like it gives kind of a glow. I do feel my hair looks more healthy. Um, so check this out, this is so good. Next, I have two perfumes that I'm totally in love with that I've been using the whole month of November. The first one, like the packaging is everything. It's this one, it's the Carolina Herrera uh, Good Girl. Yeah, Carolina Herrera New York Good Girl. is a high heel, it's so cute. And oh, the perfume is everything. I was already smelling this in Dubai and I thought I should buy, I should buy, but then I thought, no, I will wait. And now I bought it because I was obsessing with this perfume. It's a typical, I will say, um, fall scent and also a typical um, going out scent. It's very sexy. It has jasmine inside and it's very like a warm kind of, um, kind of perfume, but also it's a little bit sweet and it's exactly what I like about it. It's, it's a very edgy smell. Please check this out. It's very difficult to find because it's always sold out. Um, but now I think it's going back to the stock, but it was like a, everyone wanted this this uh, perfume, not just because of how beautiful it looks on the stands, on the sideboards and stuff, but also because of the smell. Uh, and it lasts a long way, so try this out, it's so good. Next perfume that I have uh, is actually from my mom. Uh, she bought it of mistake and then <laughs> She felt like, oh my god, Jennifer, I can't wear this. You can have it because I don't use it. So I took it. This one is the Lancome Trésor thing, Nuit. Uh, they do have a Nuit Noir. That, that one was the one I was using a lot like six months ago. And I said to my mom, mom, buy it because it's so good. And then on mistake, she bought this one instead. Uh, and for her, this one is too sweet. And for me, it's, it's perfect. Exactly. La Nuit Trésor. Oh my god, it's so good. It's kind of spicy and sweet at the same time 
and this smell is also perfect for like when it's colder outside this one i've been using daily together with the alien but alien everyone knows everyone loves but let's check out this one because if you like alien you do appreciate this one as well oh it's so good i can't really describe it but you should really check this out next are we talking about more fashion kind of um, favorites that I have? The first one is not really a fashion, but I don't really know where to put it, which category. <laughs> and these one are my AirPods. Oh my God. These AirPods are everything, like literally. Um, my husband had these AirPods for like almost one and a half year, more, maybe two years. And he said to me, Jennifer, you have to buy the AirPods. And I was like, yeah, but you know, I, I'm not a technology technology kind of person. Actually, I just I just have my phone until it break it breaks, and then I buy a new one. I will never change technology stuff because I'm not good at it. Like you know, I'm not I'm not even interested in it. And I didn't feel like I really needed this. Um, but I have been a lot of problems. I had a lot of problems with my um, AirPods, the other one, the one that comes with the oh my God, how you say it. Um, yeah, you know what it is that you can attach to the computer, to the attach to the computer or to your phone, and they're always so dirty. They are always like um, uh, they can never be without knots. They're not everywhere. And then I thought, oh my god, maybe you're right. Maybe I should buy this one. They're Bluetooth. They're wireless. And oh my god, thank God I did. They're like amazing. I wear them every day because I always listen to music. So oh, they're so good. Of course, it gets a little bit dirty because of the makeup that I wear all the time. But this one was one of my first, my best purchase the whole month of November. Like I wear them nonstop. And they also fit really good on the ear because I thought maybe on the man looks better because they have short hairs. And for girls with long hairs, it's very difficult because you do like this and then it falls down on the floor. But actually this one sits really good on the ear. So you don't have the problem. So this is a good investment because they're very expensive. I think I bought it for 178 uh, francs but it's so worth it so check this out because they're so good now we go into my fashion favorites the first favorite is faux fur west best maybe best <laughs> it looks like this it's black and it's very long it goes under the butt <laughs> and it's black and it's like this has different layers I love it so much. This one I bought in Milan when I was with my mom in, in, in a random store. It's nothing fancy. It's not, um, it's not a label or anything. It was a, like a random store in Milan. And it's so comfy. It's so warm and so soft. It's really soft. And it fits really good. Look at the back side of it. It looks so beautiful. And I love to wear vests when it's like winter time. This one together with my leather jacket or my, um, or just a sweater on underneath and then my high thigh boots. I think it's a beautiful look. So yeah, I, I don't think I could find, but I will, uh, to link it down below, but I will link similar ones from that. But yeah, this is beautiful. Oh my God, I love it so much. I think maybe it was a, like a Chinese store because the name is Jing Li Lai. <laughs> so I think it was a Chinese store in Milan. And it's like so good. I love it. So the vest looks like this. Do you guys love it? I feel like it looks so good. And you do have buttons so you can close it. And it's very long, you see it? It's so beautiful and it's so cozy. <laughs> Next favorite is also my last favorite of this month of November are my high thigh boots from, these one are from Steve Madden. And look how beautiful they are. I'll show you just one of them. They look like this. They are so beautiful see them and this one exactly are the Steve Madden's hi-fi boots my husband bought them to me two years ago and I use them every year every fall and winter time um, 
They are very comfortable. Uh, they are in velvet or suede and they look beautiful on the leg. And I'm just obsessed with them. I love also the high heel. I think it's 10 centimeters. Yeah, 10 centimeters. And yeah, they're like actually the perfect high thigh boots. So this one I do enjoy a lot and I have been using it all the months of November because it hasn't been it hasn't been snowing yet. So for now I'm just been using it a lot. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> Usually the high thigh boots I always wear with um, like a leather skirt or maybe leather pants um, and just a, a, like I showed you before a full fur um, vest or just you know just comfy or big sweater and it just looks so effortless and so beautiful so yeah I do recommend it. So that was it for my November favorites if you guys like it please please click a thumbs up and if you have any question comment down below. I hope you have a fabulous day and I see you guys soon. Okay. Bye.